Can you assist in that Delphin and speak English? That's right. That's right. I consider coming to you for these medieval acupuncture treatments a great weakness on my problem. You should have more weaknesses like this. Why? My needles kill your pains and my rhinoceros powers help you satisfy the ladies. You don't like me, but you need me. That's true, Dolphin. How do you feel about me? <laughs> I feel you pay my fees and I charge you three times more than I charge anybody else. I suppose that's an honor of some sort. Mm -hmm. I suspect that you have something special to sell me today. This week, uh, I shall be offered fees to trace your transactions. These offers will come from, from governments and from individuals. And I will accept these offers and do my best to carry them out, even if I'm asked to kill you, which is very possible, and which I would be very happy to do. I'm offered enough money, but you want a deal. Here it is. When I accept these offers from your enemies, before I carry them out, I will tell you what they are so you can prepare yourself for them. And for this, you will pay me three times what your enemies are paying me. Hmm? That last needle is hurting. Concentrate on your work. <laughs> There's no need to, Mr. Go. These needles are guided in heaven by Lu Tongpang. <laughs> I take it you've already been approached in some way. Oh, yes. Not much, but enough to know what will follow. Take the needles out, Dolphin. Five seconds more. of a rooster. <laughs> I will be back soon, but keep our back. I keep it only because I'm afraid of you. If you heard that I were killed, you would still be afraid? That's when I would be afraid the most. When it happens, and it might happen soon, I want you to arrange my funeral. <laughs> that would be an honor for the usual fee. No trouble. <laughs> Not for your funeral. During the fifth moon of the year 5000 BC, Chun Li Chuan discovered the elixir of life and invented the power of transmutation. Chuan was the chief of the eight immortals. This power was lost in the 10th century BC, some say through vanity, and was rediscovered by Gautama Buddha in the 6th century before Christ. Buddha has never again lost the secret, but uses it sparingly, and only at certain cycles of time. The cycle is during the fifth moon of each 50th year. Should the course of human events need changing, Buddha sends a beam of light from his inner eye, and it strikes the mind of just one human being. Whatever that human being is doing, he or she does just the opposite. Sometimes, even the great Buddha himself is amused at the results.
Hong Kong lies like a jewel in the China Sea. I am Gautama Buddha, and the legend is true. I enjoy using my power to change men. Men like this one, Mr. Ying Yang Go. On the surface, a prominent businessman. But underneath, he was the embodiment of evil. If you were dead and had gone to heaven, you couldn't be more blessed. Now, sleep well. And when you come to, I have a proposition for you, which will make you wealthy, wise. I don't know about the healthy. Washington, capital of the United States. When trouble arises anywhere in the world, the government calls in an organization called the CIA. Results are demanded, and life can become very difficult for the poor CIA officer, like Mr. Parker. The CIA has leads. We're on the trail now. You damn well better be on the trail. Now, you told us you were on the trail when our nerve gas was heisted, and when Fisher 4 was lost. Now, where are your trails for those items? The fact that you've been receiving similar weapons from the enemy doesn't ease the situation. Why don't you hold his name while we running here? A barter system for the communists? Now, we know this double heist is being pulled by a group or an individual. We know for sure that the group or the individual are situated someplace in the Far East. Residence and nationality, we don't know, but we feel it's Hong Kong. And when we find out who it is and when the time is right, we'll put the arm on him. Unfortunately, Parker didn't know Yin Yang Go. And if he'd known that the man on the bed was Mr. Go's guest, he'd have been even more concerned. A weapon expert in the hands of Y.Y. Y. Go. Cruel, cunning and unscrupulous, he knew exactly what he wanted and how to get it. I'm sorry if I disturb you. There must be some things you're curious about. I'll fill you in. My name is Go, Yin Yang Go. You are here because your plane was shot down over Red Chinese territory. Pilot was killed. The plane was totally lost. But some peasants who are friendly to me, I use them for transport now and then to the interior, pick you up and deliver you to my agents here in Macau. You're not seriously hurt. You're free to leave when you wish. I seem to recall hearing you say you had some pleasant news for me. Yes, fair enough. Some to fix some tea and cakes. All Chinese villains order tea and cakes before applying torture. It's a rule of all the best fiction, so why should I, in real life, be an exception? Well, thank you for saving my life, if that's what you did. I wouldn't mind some tea, providing it isn't drugged. I mean, that's the way things happen in stories like these. I represent parties who would be willing to pay you a quarter of a million Hong Kong dollars for one day's work. Murder crosses my mind. I don't know why. Do you want to hear the offer or do you want to go free now? Let me ask you a question. Are you uh, familiar with my background? Oh, yes. You are a ballistic technician employed by the United States Department of Defense. You are out here in the Far East supervising the emplacement and testing of electronic weapons under combat conditions. Generally correct? You seem sure. To put it bluntly, I want to buy some information from you about a specific laser beam device that you are installing. The answer is no. You've got the wrong man, Yin Lang. You're definitely on the wrong scent. You're sure? You bet your yellow belly button, I'm sure. I've spent my entire life fighting you bastards, and I'm not about to quit now. So, what's next? Torture? A little mind-blowing? Yeah. Mind-blowing? No, I'm sorry. Now, you're free to go. Exit. But, um...
If you are ever again offered a quarter of a million dollars for a single day's work, I, I hope you're too old to enjoy it. By the way, I am not a communist. I'm what you would call in Washington a power broker. Yeah, yeah, sure you are. Now, where am I? How do I get out of here? Oh, you just uh, roll ashore and call the American consulate. They will orient you. But do me a favor. Don't tell them about our conversation. Oh, really? Why not? Well, first, because I saved your life. But, um, more important, because I have a, a dossier of your past. Very private stuff. Your government wouldn't like what's in it. Foolish Bannister. He won't take Mr. God's threat seriously. He's a scientist, not a conniver. All he wants now is a few days in Hong Kong. Perhaps to renew old friendships, while Mr. Gore proceeds with planning his downfall. Why'd you turn him loose? This is the ear of the dog. Let him run to the end of his leash. It's dangerous and it's weak. We can still get him back here. He'll report us to the consulate. Belda, this man will tell you. Forty years ago, I came here as a boy. Little half Mexican, half Chinese refugee boy. I was alone when I came. But since then, I've had many close partners, like Suzuki here. Over the years, we've always succeeded with our deals because we never interfere with each other. We respect each other's speciality. I make the deal, I deliver the product, Suzuki here receives the money, and he pays it to the proper people at the proper time. This arrangement has worked fine with individuals and with governments. My advice to you is don't mess with the formula. But this new play is more dangerous than your others. There could be world repercussions. Suzuki, sit down. I'm dealing only with you, not with Zelda here. On your way home tonight, describe the beauty of female silence. Tell her about your geisha girls. Would you like a pipe? The Russians, are they in escrow? Yes. Terms? Oh, they will pay you when we deliver the mock-up. Not later than December the 13th. December the 13th is the festival of the light. It shall be done. So now, sayonara. And may love continue to lead us along the paths of treachery. I don't want him now, Nero. I'm going to tell you this one. Hey, 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 hey. Pauline! The fish, we gotta take it. You take it. What the hell is with you? I heard it, Donald, and I did You didn't mind me. Batty me is there. You're only sorry for fish? You deserved it, Messy Bash. She's done nothing. Hey, the man for the fish. Okay. For somebody who's been excites me. The lady That's a lot of money we have, Nero. The end. Yeah. I don't know why I'm asking you to stay. Except that I love you. I'm no good for you and I haven't any money left. Not a cent. We'll get some money. No, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. I do have a loony bird's mind. No, no, you're all right. Hey, just remember I'm all right too. We'll get along. Well, I better get to work. If I find some money to go out tonight, would you come? I might. I might butterfly Wong. Oh, you know who I saw today? Ian Bannister. You remember the American? Bannister? 
I think we passed him on the street today. They say something I find going well. And I still wish you wouldn't make jokes about Buddha. We've got enough problems as it is. I go to forge the conscience of my people for the next 1,000 years. You in the West, myself here, we are colossal, Jimmy, my boy. Absolute no crap at all. 100% colossi. Taling, I've been trying to find you. You saw me today, and I saw you. I'm still with Nero. I, I know you're still with Nero. Do you mind if I walk along? Like Buddha says, with money you do anything. <laughs> so that's what Buddha says, does he? Money? Yes. Some. Well, some is not enough. You want to start again with me? New terms. I want a big apartment, new wardrobe, the works. I'm a big girl now. I give, you give, yin and yang. Poor Finnegan, the idealistic writer, the new James Joyce. Poverty can play strange tricks with a man's character. If you needed money, then Ying Yang Go was as good a man to ask as any. If I help you, I shall expect something in return. You finish your drink, let's go for walks through the city and make a pack with each other. Walking is my favorite way of doing business. this banister? Exactly. Compromising. <laughs> I don't like the guy very much, but these are weird terms. These are weird times. eating a bone? Transmutations in nature are not frequent, but they can happen if the decision is properly made. I tell you, I've changed. You could change too. Oh, change to what? You flirt and step around the edges of Chinese life. You could mutate. You could be part of it. I could help you. Oh, no, no, no thanks. I don't want to mutate. I just want to uh, be free. I just want to keep the army off my back. You got your thing, I got mine. Say, this job, what do I do and what do I get if I do it? It'll give you financial security for a full year. I keep telling you, I got to uh, be free, you're right. Three years. Agreed? I agreed, fine. Tell no one about this, not even tell me. Don't breathe a word of it to your own shadow. You understand? Nero, Nero, how did you ever locate me in Hong Kong? Oh, I'm clever at that. Seeing I Finnegan, that's what they call me. <laughs> I'm awfully glad you did.
Let's go someplace else. Come on. Let's go. Mama Stan. See you, ladies. Uh, How's the war? Did you care of for me? There, huh? stop that. You'll get us in trouble. Come on, I know a quieter place. Oh, I bet you do, Ian. I bet you do. On the shore of tomorrow, standing quite alone, we pick up every stone. vacant when you're bored, sweetie. Hey, madam. I'm not a madam anymore, but what do you want? How do you keep those boobs on? <clears throat> special kind of glue? No, just some special kind of willpower. Any special song? Yeah, do you know, uh, I like what you like? Upstairs. They tell me it's a very exciting show. Do you want to see it? I want money. And I'll do a lot of things. <laughs> I like you, man. I like you. Now you're beginning to sound like your girlfriend. Well, you're making me jealous. <laughs> <laughs> Easy on the scotch, darling. I want you to see everything straight. Well, that's our motto, huh, Ian? See straight and think crooked. Well, I'm seeing you pretty good, Lady Bannister. And you're looking more possible every bottle. Now, about seeing things straight. I'm not really a faggot. It's just that ever so often I... I do get a little uptight about going the same old route. Yeah, me too. Hey, let's go upstairs, huh? Play mahjong. Take the bottle for courage. False courage won't be necessary. I'd like you to provide me with blueprints and a mock-up of the Sidewinder laser beam radar air-to-air -air missile which you are presently engaged in installing called COCC-2. What do you mean, provide you? Turn over to me a copy of the blueprints and a viable model of COCC-2. How, how did you... How did I? Research, psychological research. People have been doing it since long before Yaga, but I happen to be good at it, and Hong Kong is the supreme place to do it in. 
Does that answer your question? But what would you do with this device? As a businessman, I may reset it at a profit, or I might give it away. No telling. And if I refuse? Yeah. Put it this way. If you accept, you'll be handed the only print and the negative of this film to destroy. Or to exploit commercially, if you're afraid. And you'll be given a quarter of a million Hong Kong dollars to help you forget your troubles. You'll also have safe passage to anywhere. The alternative is that a copy of the film be sent to your Department of Defense. This proof of aberrant behavior would bring you not just lifetime disgrace, but in a matter this important would get you assassinated. Blackmailing is the unforgivable sin of United States weapons development. God help me. That is getting to be a familiar phrase around here. Doctor, will you come down for a moment? Even if I accept that there are so many unsolved problems... I understand. Furthermore, I'm not adequately equipped to cope This has been anticipated. In these laboratories in my house, you will find not only all the equipment that you need, but also an old colleague of yours. The two of you, with discreet help, will put this extraordinary missile together. Dr. Adding. Oh. Dr. Bannister. We have met. Yes. Yes, well, in order to make this whole affair seem less sordid, let us keep reminding ourselves that this weapon, as I understand it, could save all nations, big or small, from nuclear destruction, at least for some time to come. The politicians of this world are dangerous. I believe in reducing their advantages over myself and a few other people, so Consider yourself refugees, refugee scientists, working for the proposition that all nations remain equal, at least for a little while. Also, if it works, it could be damn profitable to the three of us. Bannister's position to bet. Damn it, man, if you think our taxpayers are shelling out billions of dollars a year so the whole world can get American-made methods, your bureau should be burnt at the stake. There's no proof that Bannister defected. He's gone, hasn't he? And he carries in his head the hottest bundle of secrets this country owns. He knows a lot, but he doesn't know everything. Well, where the hell is he? Yesterday, one of our agents in Hong Kong heard his name mentioned. A young American expatriate with the name of Finnegan, and we think Finnegan's a deserter from the American army. So, what have you done? We've got Zimmerman on it. He's the best man we've got. He should be in touch with British intelligence any minute. Whatever your stake in this, always remember this is a crown colony. Almost unasked. And it consists of 98% Chinese. Look, I was chosen because I am cautious. Furthermore, I'm a James George scholar. Now, cooperate with me this much. Find me a first-class hotel with the best possible suite and have this boy Finnegan and his girlfriend meet me there immediately. Give him my card. Leopold Z. Zimmerman, Vice President in Charge of Foreign Sales. Peter Knopf Publishing Company, Madison Avenue, New York. Absolutely right. But call me Z. No Mr. Anything. Just Z. Call me Mr. Finnegan. Finnegan. Do you mind if I call you son? Hmm? Son, this is a pleasure. Everything you've written, I've read. All that's been published, that is. It wasn't very much. Only three in the Kenyan Review. Could I be right? Right. But they were perfect. Perfect! 
woman like that was sleeping with Molly Blue. Jesus, that was really perfect. You a good critic? Oh, I see you may have some suspicions about my possible accent, Mr. Madam Pitt. I must ask you to pardon it. I'm proud of my accent. It's my badge in the ghettos. Poverty was no stumble to me. I read my way out of it. I climbed up to T.S. Eliot and the classics and to publish them. So what do you want exactly? I mean, uh, people haven't been kicking my door down lately. You did that one good job in drag, remember? What the hell are you saying? What do I want? Well, I'll tell you what I want, son. Oh, why do I help yourself with some more champagne whenever you feel like it? Expensive stuff. <laughs> <laughs> what I'd like to know, son, is uh, what you're writing these days. The swear from me, your present opus like this. Ah, my new work. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm working on a uh, rock opera. And my latest thing is about uh, 24 hours in Hong Kong. See, there's this uh, young man, he's a writer, you know? And he's trying to find his way through life. And this older guy, he's Chinese. And he's looking for his lost youth. This guy's me. Oh, pardon me. Uh, no, don't disappoint me. I wonder. Oh, no, I couldn't be as lucky, could I? You wouldn't by any chance have a, a modern James Joyce novel in mind? Oh, Joyce? Yeah, he's my thing, no. man. I'm his descendant. What? I pick up where Jimmy left off. Oh, God's sake. Dublin moves to the Orient. Oh, stately folk book mulligan came from the stairway bearing a bowl of lather. Intro Evo and Altari Dale. Come up, Kinch. Come up, you fearful Jesuit. Ah. The heavens are your stars hung with you with night blue fruit. Oh, God, isn't the sea what algae calls it? A sweet gray mother. Ah, uh, the snot green seed of stolen paint. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Good damn it, son. My firm, Club Incorporated, would like to celebrate a new client. Dear old Finnegan. Finnegan. Tomorrow, we you sign the contract? Kidding. Tonight, Thai life in low Hong Kong. Expenses on the house, just as usual. Coxman, beware, here we come. Listen, babe. The kind of night we're looking for, I think it'd be better if you stay home. You don't mind, do you? Have fun, white man. I'll stay home and mind the papoose. Hey, Talin, come on. What are you so uptight for? Have you given the cash here, please? Yes, Mr. Zimmerman here. Could you have 10,000 Hong Kong dollars ready for me when I come down, please? Yes, 10,000. Mr. Zimmerman. Zimmerman. Zim. Ah, to hell with you. I'm coming down. Come on, you wine fizzling, gin sizzling, booze guzzling existence. Come on, you dog. Zelda, we saw you running back there and hoped you'd join us. Uh, do you smoke? Yes, tonight I'll do anything. So we picked a good time to pick you up. Sure did. Say yen thousand, get them or say it. I'm furious. I don't want to talk about it. Never mind. What kind of cigarettes are these? Why? They taste sweet. Ba -ba! like to be free not have to answer to anyone anybody but me to run if i want to to be totally me i'm just turning on to what is it like to be free what is it like to be what is it like to be free what a difference i feel today Yesterday, I shaved in the boredom and cast off the rain. That bar cleaned off the dust and let the wind blow through my mind. I find what is it like to be free?
castles and serfs by my side. First of all, I lived in this apartment in Greenwich Village, just above a plumber shop. Yeah, only, only 17 years of age I was. No, thanks. No, no, they're illegal. Only 17 years of age I was at the time, and I know what the Schwartz, ooh, and knock at it. Oh, gee, what a pat. Compared to what Babylon looked like the garment districts. You read this. What? Uh, it's on calculation. Uh, this reminds me, where the hell is Talene? What's the matter? Aren't we good enough for you? You want some more girly, sailor boy? You see, I wanted the Schwartz uh, permanently. But she left me for a for this thing a lesbian, a jazz band. Will you read that damn thing? Read it for my style. Blow your mind. Now reading it for I am ain't justice. Later is fairer. Where the hell is Talin? Hey, Zim. When you publish my stuff, you can't use my name. Oh, some sort of trouble. No, I'm not in trouble. I'm a loyal deserter, man. I'm a deserter to my country and my priest, but loyal to my heart and my writing. Galaxy, you better write that contract tonight. Tomorrow I may sign with Random House. Yakety, 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 business, business. Mm. Hey, come on, you. Grandpa, dance. Don't go to sleep. Ah, uh, dance in the forest, boys. I'm a taker. God damn it, I miffed. Darling is out on the town. She, she should stay here and tend house. She should wait on me. Have some champagne. Champagne? No, thanks. Waste not one, not man. Sound ignorant, Z, you bastard. Hope you're solvent. Ah, uh, your wife. Uh, she always this late. Yeah, when she supported me. But now I'm the breadwinner. I'm loaded. Look. Hey, you made a bonanza, huh? Did a job, I got paid. Wow. Sold a book, maybe. Sold a story. Me and old Doc Faustus sold a lot of things. Explain to your publisher. I'm a moonlighting blackmailer on the side, Zim. A blackmailer. You want a job done, huh? I'm an artist. An artist needs deep water to swim in, you lousy New York skulking feather merchant. Uh, just, just tell me about this blackmail. Don't tell me short. Huh? Well, you want to hear about blackmail, do you? Yes, please. Where did you make all that money? The tale I could unfold, Leopold. Over the, 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 the chicks. Well, this part, you're a publisher. Like a priest, I am. A ten publisher. A certain man approached me. His name is Mr. Go. That's the whole truth and nothing but Go. No, don't stop. You got me. I am the jewel of Asia, the Gisha. Look what my plans are. No secrets. Talk on. Get away. You smell a pig's feet. <laughs> oh, no. This is Mr. Go. Jeez, what a name! I'm curious. Place at the end the name of yours truly, El Blue. Message for Mr. Zimmerman. The girl was snatched and we lost the car. Mercedes 600. License unlisted. One Oriental man, maybe two. Damn it. Get these hookers out of here. Alert the men and get back here as soon as possible. Yes. Wait, fighty go, fighty go, Lee. Ha, go, 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 fighty, 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 shut up. Better again, better again. It's about Ta Ling. What about her? She's been kidnapped. Who? Ta Ling. Who? Are you awake? Yes. Well, listen. Top fast and clear. There's been a secret weapon stolen, and you know who's behind them. 
Who are you? I'm from American Intelligence. Talk fast. Who does he deal with? No publisher. I'm your government. I'm your friend. Who's the man you dealt with? No contract, huh? You'll get your contract. You said you saw YY Go. See the brains? Who's YY Go? You'll get into serious trouble if you don't help us. An agent turns you talking. What's the story? What's all this about blackmail? Where did you get all of this kind of money? All right, I'll tell you. Just let me get some coffee. I'm drunk. You lying son of a bitch. You said you liked my writing. Face me. Hong Kong's a mixed-up place. I never knew what I was writing about before. Hey, are we going anywhere near Ta Ling? Now, oh, Finnegan, you should know the facts before your um, execution, so to speak. Mr. Suzuki, on the surface, is a respectable banker. But more importantly, he represents Soviet interest, has done for some time. You and Ta Ling are a menace. You know too much. Talk too much. You lead authorities to us. You'll give evidence against us. You'll finish us. That's why my partner is holding that gun. Oh, that's cheerful news. Too bad I won't be around to write a book about it. It's good material. A book? You could show volumes. We've been doing this kind of thing for years. We work in the vacuum between enemy nations. You should take care of Ta Leng. I understand that a maid called Zelda is taking care of her right now. I had waited long enough. So now, Mr. Go, to you came feelings unfelt before. Change. No, Suzuki. I'm suddenly bored with my life. Fed up with the way things have been going. I've used up this air. Something. It started inside me to move. You feel that way too? Something new, strange, something useful. Now, what could I have to do with anything useful?
says. I believe that everybody can change their nature. Why to turn him loose? Why have you let the boy and girl roam around the life? Each transaction I've ever done has been more dangerous than the one before. Are you upset? Why don't I just spoil the way like the green stuff on dead deep water? Maybe it's because I have too much juice left. I haven't used up half my heartbeats or any of my ambition. Maybe I've been saving for something. Mutation. That's it. Change. It's come to me later than I thought, but here it is, looking like a flag in the wind. I wonder if I can do it. Change. I've done it before. When I was very young, I came from another country. Now the wheel has turned. I'm leaving here. I'm going somewhere else. Now, Mr. Gore, you have your opportunity to redeem yourself. I can only wish you well and hope you live long enough to do it. Can you see a little canister back there? Oh, this? Yes, thank you. Something new, better than Mason. Pop, you confuse me. General? Darling is on the, the junk below. The force from that swinging light. You'll have to say. Why you're here. I don't want to sit down. Just tell me how to get out of here. Do you mind telling me why you're not killing me? I don't know. Maybe I'm mutating. Or maybe I'm just getting set up. Maybe you're gonna get killed anyhow without me. Get to the jump and take the gun. Hey, can't we do this thing together? No. You do your thing, I do my thing. Don't worry.
Celebrating Zelda. You took her top side. So it is part of my Fu Manchu kit. Many interesting features. Filler control, automatic steering, electric motor, wire to the black swamp. Where's the Zuki? A friendly banker was alive when I last saw him. You and Tang take a month's trip to the China Sea. You deserve each other. How do you know it was gold? We played back the tape a dozen times. His name, his frequency is well known. There can be no question of it. What about that explosion? Why did you fire on the airplane? The go is killed. I want an explanation. You start cross-examining me and you'll get singed by Washington. Mr. Zimmerman. If I had the authority, I'd muzzle you and air straight you back to Washington within an hour. Hong Kong, very brief city, like 15, 16-year-old dog ready to die. Well, Hong Kong looks as healthy as most other cities in the world I've seen. It is. All cities are dying, only here we know it. Mm-hmm. But, uh, they don't. They don't. But they will. Ever meet this man, Go? <laughs> the rich pig. Ah, oh, well, smart. Hard to catch, eh? I'm smarter than any pig. You like to go pig hunting? Sure. You go see Mr. Ito Suzuki, the banker. I'm curious about your late partner, Mr. Why Why Go. Not a partner. A friend. A very good one. I also have word that you know where a Mr. Bannister, an American physicist, is. No. Mr. Zimmerman, I think you and I 
are looking for the same thing. A device, let's call it. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's as good a name as any. What I'm trying to discover is if you have any clues as to where this device is. I'm trying to discover the same thing, Mr. Zimmerman. I have no clue, sir. Nor I, sir. And the defectors? No clues, sir. <laughs> nice garden you've got here. Oh, we bankers like to live well. Oh, why not? Why not indeed? You see, uh, if other countries find the device, I would be uh, reprimanded for that. And I. Shall we make a pact to keep the device between our two countries alone? That's a good idea. But uh, I can't agree with you officially. Oh, well, nothing official, of course. But uh, we could keep each other informed, however. I suggest we keep each other in sight. Yeah. Good idea. Will you agree with me to destroy the defectors and the device so it's loose? We agree at any cost. No, thanks. I've got to go now. Oh, pardon me, but it seems peculiar that the Russians chose you being Japanese. <laughs> you don't seem typically American, do you? Oh, well, I was born in Dublin of German parents. Oh, really? Good day, Mr. Good day. Day. Oh, uh, by the way, have you found the girl or boy? Uh, no. You? Nope, no, uh, if you do, let me know. Unofficially, of course. Gladly, unofficially. <laughs> Show him out, please. Good day. Sayonara, sayonara. <laughs> Twenty-five thousand Hong Kong dollar reward. For information leading to the apprehension of this man. Dead or alive. Known as. Why why go? Why why go? He was supposedly shot to death in his helicopter. But his body has not been found. Next face. This man. Nero Finnegan. Ten thousand Hong Kong dollars reward. If you bring him back here. Alive if possible. But bring him back. Finally, this girl. Same reward for her. Ten thousand Hong Kong dollars. Again, bring her back alive if possible. That's it. You can tell them to get a work straight away. Yes, sir. Ah, Situations are different. Let me say something to you two children. Yesterday you had a home, you were safe. Today your home is an ambush. You're on the run, the dogs are after you, there's a price on your head. There are lots of people who want you and you in any condition they can find you. Why? Secret weapons have been stolen from the two strongest countries in the world. Why blame me? Because you took money for blackmail. Government circles has called treason. I love some more.
Why the hell do you keep getting us involved? I managed to split from the goddamn army. It's shocked up good and safe with Pauline here. No sweat. I, I'm just writing, playing my music. Then you come along. The chick is thrown in jail. I start the rough trading faggots. Blackmailing scientists. Whipping around the air in helicopters. Being chased by the CIA. Super macing the... Uh, Japanese bank presidents getting slugged by a lesbian, spear gunning a Chinese boogeyman. Go. Go. I don't know where you get your energy. But will you quit running our lives for us? All right. You should have left me alone. But let me say two things, one to each of you. First, Nero, on a calm day, try to remember that you were a grown man when you entered this mess. You came to me. You were told of its danger. I described its secrecy. I paid you more than you asked. You were asked a lot. And I won't hold up in court, Pop. I'm an innocent babe in spite of my years. Now, this is to you. After I first saw you, I had an illusion, a fantasy. We came back and back to see one my daughter. I suppose that all men of my age begin to wish that they had children again, but I tell you, I was surprised when it happened to me. Anyway, this is the obscure reason why you're still alive. And out here on this beach and I'm not in Hong Kong. I mean, no, damn it, I don't trust you two Chinese together. Now let's move. Then I get them. I'm China. I changed my mind. 
Again? We'll have my funeral. That's a little drastic, isn't it? No. Bunch is the enemy together. First principle of guerrilla warfare. Come. So then what do we do? After that, I present you and all the other young, beautiful people in the world with a very secret sidewinder laser. A sidewinder what? Laser beam. Sidewinder. Find snake. Then find its enemies by, by heat, by radar. Come, get out. Well, so now we're going to blow up Asia. No, this device is defensive. For protection only. A shield of light, you could call it. Though life with you is rough, but never dull. He's in my shop. You owe me 10,000 Hong Kong. What's uh, all that crowd for? Oh, they following us. We following them. Sneak me to your shop. That costs more money. You run quick. Right. <laughs> computers then give priority to the nearest approaching target. The laser then sends out the shortest, fastest blips of synchronized light beams imaginable. Now that you are all here, I'd like to take this opportunity to express my personal sorrow over the death of one who has always worked for the welfare of this colony, Mr. Yin Yang Go. The funeral oration is to be read at 5 p.m. at the foot of the Great Buddha. I believe, sir, that Mr. Go left a will behind with us. So I've heard, yes. What are the contents, sir? It's most important we know something. I'm sorry, uh, gentlemen, I know nothing of that. I'm just as much in the dark as you are. A few hints, if possible? Uh, no, I'm sorry. I'm as much in the dark as you are. God, you haven't killed her, have you? No, I put her asleep. Now, this drug, this drug make her talk. Yuck, 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 yuck. Very, very expensive. Yeah. Ah, very expensive. She a beautiful trip. Too good for her. Should be horsemen. It is indeed a highly sophisticated meld of four very current, very sophisticated components into one extraordinary weapon system. A system capable of destroying 50 approaching warheads within one minute without ever firing a shot. Watch this.
Gentlemen, I'm very much impressed. Finnegan. I get him next. Where's Go? Well, he's in little pieces all over China Sea. Now, I doubt it. I don't believe he was in that helicopter at all. He's having funeral now. Well, you prove to me that it's his body inside that casket, and I'll double this. Oh, I see. Now, get these four thugs out of here and have them surround the place and guard it. I don't want to have Suzuki and his men barging in here. Come in. Come in. Come in. Come in. Come in. Come in. All right, let's see. All right. I go to funeral, see if Mr. Gold is in casket, huh? Dolphy, you double-cross me and you're dead six times. Here, you can relax. You dress up like a salesman and whore around at night. That's what you do for a living, eh, Whitey? Where is Finnegan? You took him out to Cat Street. Tell me about Yin Yang Go. What do you want to know about Yin Yang Go? How did he approach you? Is he alive? What do I get for the answers? 25,000 Hong Kong dollars and your freedom to leave whenever you like. <laughs> What the hell are you laughing at? <laughs> That's the same deal gold made with Bannister. So Bannister was bribed. Blackmailed. Where is he? I'd like to see him. You're too old. He likes boys. Look, uh, Tiling, we are friends. You're allies. But if I decide to think, you'd double-cross me like you did Finnegan, wouldn't you? Tell me where Bannister is. He's in Go's mind and Go's eyes. What's he doing? Making a laser beam. For whom? For what? It's Go's present to me, to wear around my head. Now wait, I'll shoot you. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
sure. Why do I go? Not in Miami, or... Where is the... Where is the beat? Beam. Nothing we can do to help him. things back stage. I don't think you can have a funeral like this more than once or twice in your life. I mean, after a while, people won't come. Softly. Speak softly. Remember your age. Look, here comes your cat. I didn't know I was so popular. Who paid for all this? My enemies, eventually. I think if I wasn't so old, I could fall in love with you. Do you realize that? I'm afraid the story doesn't go that way. A coffin is lonely if you have no son and daughter. It's peaceful if you leave a family behind. So? So you and Finnegan are my children. I think you think wrong. That's what I think. Oh, but I've been dreaming about you, Go. And it's pretty sexy, I tell you. I think we Chinese ought to stick together. They are home boy.
beautiful, too. I wonder what you should have been. Have you ever looked through the belly button of a Buddha before? No, but I bet it's the hub of all wisdom. And representatives of nations great and small, present and absent. I am here to represent Mr. Yin Yang Go. And I will read his last will and testament to you as they did in old China and indeed as they did in ancient Rome. I give to every country that wants it. Complete blueprints to a special laser beam sidewinder device. Now this device can be made for little money. It's a defensive wondrous shield. And it's effective against anti-ballistic warhead attacks. Even from outer space. It was Mr. Goh's wish that the people at his funeral here should witness this device in action. You're under arrest. Back again, Lazarus. I'll be with you in a moment. Begin, doctors. So, what have you done? Zimmerman, he should be in touch with the British intelligence agency any minute. Well, why the British? Are they running our secrets? No, but they run Hong Kong and they get hot as hell when we make waves. Here's their cable. Listen to this. The alleged defection must be treated cautiously. The peace of this city cannot repeat, cannot stand violent maneuvers or overt killing. The people are tense and the jolly red giant next door is waiting for an excuse to move. Advise us plans and proceed. <laughs> yes, Mr. Gore redeemed himself. And beautiful Tai Ling. She really got what she wanted. A rich, powerful, respected husband. The beam really works. Who will it strike next time? Well, I have 50 years to worry about that. Perhaps it could even be you. When the fire doesn't burn Then it's time you come so dead. 